This video is just a little bit different than any of the rest of them. Because this one here, everybody keeps telling me, you need to tell people how you can your beets. So, the neighbor gave me this tub full of beets. Some of them I've already got the tops off of them. And um, so, I thought, okay, well, let's see what happens. Except now I've lost my knife. Here it is. So I cut the beet, cut the tops off them. I leave about an inch of the green on the beet because otherwise the color of the beet leads out and you don't have that really pretty red color. You have uh, a paler, a much paler colored beet when they're cooked. And because I'm canning them, I have to get the skins off of them. So I have a pot of water on the stove that's I'm bringing to a boil, and I'm going to turn half of these beets into regular beets, and the other half into pickled beets. So the small ones I'm going to do into pickled beets, and the large ones I'm going to do into regular beets, and canning them both. So this video is going to be pieced together so that otherwise you're going to be sitting there watching a pot boil and a watch pot never boils. So I'm going to fill the pot up with some beets and let them cook. Oh man I got a lot of puffs here. Some of these tops if it's taught you, you can cook them. You just treat them like you do spinach. Any way that you cook the spinach is the same way as you do the, uh, these boot tops. They're high in iron. They're just like a spinach. So, okay, that takes care of all the top being cut off. So now I'm going to put, I'm going to give them a wash and put them in the pot. Now when I wash these beets, I'm going to sort them into two different sizes uh, because on the bottom I'm going to put the bigger beets because they take longer to cook and on the top I'm going to put the smaller beets. So when I'm going through this, these beets, there's a lot of the dead branches and stuff that or dead leaves still on them and I will pick all of them off because I think they're a pain. So, so I'm going through this water, these beets to pick out the biggest beets because I'm going to throw them into the pot first and then I'm going to be sorting the rest of these beets. Now there's two different kinds of beets here. Um, one of them is the cylindrical, which is these ones here, and the other ones are the round beets. Um, I like the round beets for regular beets, and Mel prefers them for pickle beets. I like them, the, the cylindrical ones for pickle because it makes it way easier to cut them because you just slice them and there's no dicing involved. There's my first start of beets going into the pot. All right, these are my big beets.
So, like I said, this I do this in size order. Big ones go in the bottom of the pot. Then they get smaller as we go up the pot. So my theory is the big one's going to cook first. Well, or be cooking in the hot water while the little ones are getting ready to go into the pot. Now that theory may be wrong, but it's my theory. Here goes the medium beets. And now it's the small ones. <laughs> 